Hi, I'm Charles Linden. From a very young age, perhaps even as young as one or two years, I can remember feeling uneasy, shy, untrusting and scared. I remember having very bad dreams and feeling my heart race when I had to perform, as all kids do, doing cartwheels or singing a song in front of friends and family. I remember the fear that seemed to creep through me as I had to stand in class and recite a poem and the horrors of steady growth of anxious sensations and thoughts during the build-up to school plays and sports matches. OK, I didn't have an easy childhood for so many reasons. Bullying, teasing, being overweight, attention deficit disorder and other factors in addition to the normal growing pains of a young boy. At age 13 I started to experience high anxiety. I developed OCD and would struggle to eat food, sifting drinks through my teeth to avoid contamination or things that could harm me in some way. I avoided the chemistry laboratory at school completely and washed my hands repeatedly. I was so scared that I would make excuses and run to the school phone to beg my mum to fetch me. I then developed obsessive thoughts, playing subconscious word and number games, which drove me crazy as I lay in bed at night trying to get some sleep. I became a problem to the school and was in constant trouble because of my inability to pay attention and I had no one to turn to and the doctors just prescribed me antidepressants and sent me away. I did learn to tolerate my anxiety, but I became a bit of a rebel, getting into trouble more and more, whilst inside of me was in turmoil, and I was scared of everything, even at 18 years of age. I remember being scared of travelling on the train to school, of going to rugby matches. I made excuses not to go to school trips or to stay overnight at friends' houses. My family were completely oblivious, because I realised a long time before that nothing they or anyone else could say or do would make the slightest difference to how I was feeling. Skip forwards about seven years, and after working very long and ridiculous hours, seven days a week, still trying to suppress the anxiety which had been with me throughout my life, the cork finally popped, and out spewed the most hideous anxiety, panic attacks, agoraphobia and OCD. I literally fell to my knees one morning as I fueled my car. An ambulance was called, and after two days of tests and crippling anxiety, I was told I had nervous exhaustion and I was sent home with sedatives. Overwhelmed by fear so intense that I thought I'd die, for about eight years I struggled with my condition. I saw doctors, immunologists, psychiatrists, psychologists, and a myriad of alternative health practitioners. I was described as severely mentally ill and treated as if I was incurable. You can read some of my referral notes on this website in the About Charles section. I started to believe that the doctors were correct. I would probably spend my life moving from institution to institution, dosed up on medication, existing rather than living, and coping with my anxieties rather than curing them. Why? Because according to the so-called experts, there is no cure for anxiety disorders. All you can do is learn coping strategies to make your life as comfortable as possible, and dose yourself up on medication, which may, at best, mask the anxiety or force your heart to slow down to an acceptable level clients who come to me today believe the very same. They've been told too that anxiety can't be cured, that you just need to accept the fear and pop the pills, keep a cap on it and hide it away, because it will never go away. I know now that these specialists are the crazies, not me, you or any other anxiety sufferer in the world. What they're telling you is not only crazy, but scientifically, medically and morally wrong. I decided that there was a solution, and that I was going to find it. Hidden out there, getting on with their lives, symptom-free, are people just like you, with one difference. They're cured. How? They all did the exact same thing. And my methods are what I discovered as a result of finding some of those people, and simply asking them a group of very searching questions. Questions which pinpointed the behaviours and the activities that they were doing when their recovery started. I wanted to know what they did to become anxiety free. Was it medication? No, never. That was clear from the research. Was it psychology? No. So what was it? Well, it transpires that they all did the exact same things. Not one thing, a chance group of activities coupled with a group of realisations about anxiety. You see, life circumstances, behaviours, beliefs and other life experiences can change as we move through life. And sometimes these can create, by chance, 
the environment which causes changes in our anxiety levels. But they happen rarely by chance, and anxiety sufferers by nature are guarded and scared, so they focus deeply on their symptoms, thoughts and situations instead of projecting their thoughts out into the world, to their challenges, their families and their jobs or pastimes. When I discovered the key to resetting my anxiety level and implemented it into my own life, changes started to happen immediately and they snowballed quickly. I decided to try these things with other sufferers to test their effectiveness and having spent a few weeks giving it all structure and making it easy to understand, I gave away over a thousand copies through my original website. After just a couple of days, emails started flooding in. Debts of gratitude and letters of thanks from people who, like me, had started to experience dramatic changes in the way they felt. By this time I was working again. My agoraphobia, which had kept me more or less housebound for over four years, just melted away. I lost weight, came off my medication, looked healthy, and was able to lead a normal life again. It was miraculous. Or was it? The truth is, there is no miracle involved. In fact, quite the opposite. You see, anxiety is caused by a switch in the brain. It turns on when you need it, and off when the threat is over. But when you developed your anxiety disorder, the switch got stuck on. Not by you consciously, no, by your subconscious, which made the decision that your high level of anxiety was the new normal level. Once it makes this decision, it stays that way until it receives new information which drops the level back down again. But the fly in the ointment is that anxiety, unlike other emotional responses, causes a wide range of pretty scary sensations, symptoms and thoughts. These are harmless but frightening, and when you experience them, they reinforce the new anxiety setting, confirming to the brain that it is in fact correct. This causes a vicious cycle which prevents you from resetting your anxiety level. Does this make sense? If it does, continue. If it doesn't, listen to this video again. This is vital to your understanding of your anxiety. So, if you could stop this cycle and rest, you'd be cured, right? Absolutely. And this can happen quickly. And this is exactly what we show you in the Linda Method program. It's so unbelievably simple, but it does the job. My discovery meant that I could fool the mind into reverting back to the level it was at before I developed anxiety disorder, and that is exactly the process that I can show you. Since discovering this method, it has been refined and developed into an easy-to-use and understandable package, which requires no real effort at all. The Linden Centres have now helped well over 100,000 people worldwide to permanently get rid of their anxieties. The success rate of my method is in the high end of 90%, between 96 and 97% to be exact, according to our focus group trials. I have never known a case in a decade which has not responded to the Linda method, if they do it correctly. I wish I could tell you that medication and psychology work. It's my belief that they don't. At least that's the conclusion we draw from reports from our clients. I know that there's only one cure for anxiety disorders, regardless of time suffered, medication, or any other factor. And I know that I've identified that cure. I know that there's only one cure for anxiety disorders, regardless of time suffered, medications, or any other factor. I know that I've identified that cure. I know that because the only people who fail using the Linden Method are those who don't ask, what am I doing wrong? Like baking a cake, if you don't use eggs, you don't get a cake. I can show you exactly what you have to do to completely erase your anxieties, but I can't make you do it. All I can do is show you the process and allow you free access to my teams of counsellors and psychologists who know exactly what to say and do to make sure that you make the fastest recovery possible. I know it will cure you. However, if you feel it hasn't, I'll give you your money back. I am so certain that you'll make a full recovery using the Linden Method, but unless you actually try it, you'll never know. That's why I try to make it as easy to access and as cost effective as possible, and that's why I provide free support from qualified counselling psychologists who are Linden Method specialists. Because not only do I want you to try it, but I want it to work as well for you as it did for me and tens of thousands of our ex-clients. You can call us at any time using any of the numbers on this website. If you need more information, 
need some advice about symptoms or thoughts perhaps, or just want to check that we're really here, pick up the phone and put your mind at rest. Being anxiety free is already pre-programmed into you from birth. All I show you is how to reset it back down to that level. The Linda method is so simple that our clients as young as eight years of age do it without question. It's so effective that we get hundreds of referrals from psychologists, doctors, psychiatrists and national health organisations each month. Tens of thousands of our ex-clients no longer go to anxiety forums, stay up all night surfing the web, email other sufferers to compare notes and exist in a virtual world where everyone is a sufferer. Our clients are back at work, playing with their children, going on holidays and enjoying life again. It's your choice. Believe the ill or follow the well. We know what causes and perpetuates anxiety in you and we know how to stop it. Take care.